Hey yo, Chico's and Chicas, it's Kitty, and today I'm trying something new. The Would You Rather quiz. So I guess now you guys can learn a little bit about me through these Would You Rather questions. So we're going to start off with, would you rather be the last human left on Earth or be dead? Well, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't, I don't think I would want to be, well, this is hard for me either way because, A, I don't think I would rather be the last person on Earth because that means everything will be empty. It'll just be me by myself, no family, no friends, nothing, just no animals. Well, well, there's animals, but, like, nothing, just no human interaction. And then, B, I'm afraid of death. Like, death is one of my fears, and... Yeah, so that's gonna that's that's gonna be bad. Um That's so I mean, honestly, if you think about it, the the fact that well with the first one, you're going to die eventually, which is the dark part about it. Sorry I had to go so dark for a second, but you're going to die eventually and it'll just be you and the, after that, there's no one else left on earth, which is kind of bad. And then if you'd rather be dead, then that just means that's it. It's just you're dead. But I don't know. That's a hard one. I'll just go. I'll just go with the first one. Oh, looks like the rest of the people agreed with me. Fifty-five percent. Okay. Oof, that was a tough one. Would you rather be eaten by a zombie or be burnt at the stake? Oosh. I mean, they're both painful, and I think being burned at the stake may last longer, and it might be more excruciating, and then being eaten by a zombie, it, it's going to hurt, but it probably won't last that long, because you're going to bleed out in a while. God, these are dark. <laughs> but um, I guess the first one? Yeah, okay, 56%. If you had to wake up to one thing every day, would you rather be deeply insulted by a stranger or be slapped across the face? So what? Is it going to be like I wake up and I see this stranger over my bed and he's looking at me deep in my, into my soul and he's just like, why are you laying in that bed? Why are you still laying there? Get up, you lazy bum. Get out of that bed. All you do is lay in that bed. Get out of that bed. Or just pow, get slapped in the face. Okay, I think I can deal with the first one because it's just like I wake up and the guy's just like, hey, get out of that damn bed. You just lay in that bed all day. You don't do nothing with your life. Just get out of that bed. And I'm just like, okay, I'll get out of the bed. Jeez, calm down. But to get slapped across the face, you're going to get hit back. Like, come on now. I can't deal with that every day. Like, no. So I'll just go with the first one because you, you slap me to wake me up every day. Eventually, I'm going to slap you back and then we're going to fight. And that's just that's not going to be pretty for either for either parties. So I guess the first one, 50-50, <laughs> of course. Would you rather every movie you watch replaces the lead role with Nicolas Cage or every song you hear is performed by Nickelback? Oh God. I mean, not, not I mean, this may be the most unpopular opinion here, but Nickelback wasn't that bad. Okay, I said it. Um, but that would be weird, like an Ariana Grande song being <laughs> being sang by Nickelback. <laughs> that would be funny. I think that would be pretty cool, though. But I'll, I'll just go with the second one. I think that would actually be pretty cool. See, the most unpopular. I knew it. <laughs> would you rather? Fight 100 third graders one at a time or fight 50 third graders at the same time? Oh, geez. Well, <laughs> um, fighting one at a time, that will be very, very, um, that'll be very exhausting. But like 50 third graders at the same time, maybe a shit. I could use my smarts. 
Third graders like snacks, cookies, sweets, and stuff. I'll give them sweets. I'm like, look, hey, we ain't got to fight. Ain't nobody got to get punched in the face. Nobody got to get kicked in the teeth. I'll give you guys some cookies. Give you guys some juice boxes. And let you guys run wild, you know? Just run off that sugar. So how about 53rd graders at the same time? Just have enough snacks in your inventory. Have enough snacks in the trunk or something like that in the, in, in the car. And just let them have at it. Eat all the sweets you want. Damn. I guess that was the unpopular vote. But you guys are evil. Why would you want to fight them in the first place? At least, I'm giving, at least I'm giving them sweets and giving them snacks. Giving them soda and cookies or whatever. It may sound weird, but I mean, I don't want to fight little kids. Like, come on now. I'm not cool. If you were forced to eat a certain way, would you rather eat soup for every meal with only your face or stab a stab your tongue with a fork every time you ate. I don't want to eat soup for every meal. I mean, that's I don't I would get tired of eating soup. And then I'm not using a spoon. I'm just eating it like a dog. I don't want to do that either. I'll say stab my tongue with a fork. I mean, it may not be that bad. Oh, come on people, really? You're serious? So you'd rather Eat soup every day for the rest of your life, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and possibly dessert every day? No. When you eat macaroni and cheese, would you rather use a spoon or use a fork? I always use a spoon. Every time I eat macaroni, I use a spoon. I'm not eating macaroni with a fork. No, I, eat a, I, use, it with a, I use a spoon. Would you rather find out that you swallowed a spider in your sleep or find out that you had a uh, found out that your waiter had spit in your meal. Um, ill. So like, you mean to tell me that I'm eating my meal and my waiter just comes up to me and say, "Hey, hey there, you don't spit in your food, right?" Uh, that's gross. And then on the other hand, I wake up and well, how would I know? Wait, how would I know the first one? I don't even want to find out. I mean, maybe the second. I mean, it's, they're both bad. The second one is downright gross. But is it only one time? I guess it's only one. I mean, it, it'll only be one time, I guess. So I guess maybe the second one. 50-50, okay. Wow, that one gets 50-50, but the other one doesn't. Okay. Would you rather know who killed Tupac or know who killed Biggie? Oh, God. Oh, I don't know. Why would you make me choose between those? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Can I skip it? I want to skip this one. I don't know. I'm just going to skip that one. Because I don't want to know. Would you rather skip summer or skip winter? Well, if I skip summer then that means I'm skipping my birthday. So I would skip winter. Oh, no, but that means I skip Christmas. Aw, that's a bunch of booty. I See, now that makes me feel selfish. I just skipped my, I, I skipped my birthday. I mean, I, I, I let my birthday continue, but I skipped Christmas. I feel so bad. Aw, damn it. I'm not selfish, I swear. Would you rather only drink Starbucks coffee or drink Dunkin' Donuts coffee? You see, I've never had Dunkin' Donuts coffee, so Starbucks? Yeah, okay. That's good. Okay. Would you rather be stoned to death or be grounded? Be grounded. Wait, do you mean ground? You Wait, grounded? Oh, grounded. Buried in the ground up to your neck and tortured oh god um or be stoned to death so that means i'm like tied up to a tree or something and they're throwing rocks at me until i die and then being grounded means i'm buried in the ground up to my neck and tortured so this so they're, they're, they're just torturing my head oh my god they're both horrible i'm skipping that one too fuck that <laughs> 
Would you rather be eaten by a lion or eaten by ants? Oh my God, I can't. No, no, skip, skip, I can't. <laughs> Would you rather be handcuffed to your worst enemy for life or be separated from your entire family for life? Do I have a worst enemy? There is no way to remove the handcuffs. You could not communicate your family. Oh, geez. I don't like you, but I have to be handcuffed to you forever. Or I love you guys, but I can't talk to you. Oh, God. I, I can't be separated from my entire family. Like, that's that's the worst. I guess handcuffed to my worst enemy because I could basically punch them in the face as much as many times as I want if they push me that far and they can't do shit about it. They can't get away. So handcuffed to my enemy for the rest of my life. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah, punch them in the face. <laughs> okay. Would you rather be able to have the ability to have full control over your dreams or never have to sleep? I mean, is insomnia a factor here? Like, is that a problem? So that means like I have like full on, full, like full energy 24 seven all the time and I never get tired and I just can do whatever I want whenever I want without having to worry about getting tired. Is that what that means? I mean, that would be pretty, uh, that'd be pretty cool, but at the same time, wouldn't that be boring? It's like, you never rest. That's, uh, maybe to be able to have full control over my, over my dreams, because like, sometimes you have dreams and you can't, you can't do shit. Like, like the things that you want to do in your dreams, you can't do like running away from something. You can't run. It's like, it's like, you're, you're trying to run as much as you can, it's like you're not going anywhere. It's just like you're just staying in that exact same spot. So I think I would say the ability to have control of my dreams because I like to sleep sometimes. I mean, I can stay up pretty late, but sleep is, is just the best. Yeah, okay. Would you rather Put a toothpick under each toenail and kick a wall or be scalped. Oh, Jesus. Being scalped, does that mean like just your hair is getting cut off or your, I, I, I think I remember hearing the, that word, like hearing the term scalped, but I kind of forgot what it means. And then put a toothpick under each toenail and kick a wall. My God. Oh, that's that, that. I mean, my feet just hurt just thinking about that. Like, Jesus. Oh, then that means you're to that means you probably lose your toenails too. Oh, oh that's the worst. Oh, be scalped. I don't know. I forgot what that means. Yeah, I don't blame you guys. Okay. Would you rather be allergic to peanut butter or be allergic to chocolate? Look, you can't separate me from my chocolate. I love chocolate. Peanut butter. Peanut butter, hands down. Screw peanut butter. Screw peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Screw peanut butter cookies. I want my damn chocolate, okay? I want my chocolate. I can't live without my chocolate, okay? No. Would you rather be known as a racist or known as a sexist? I'm not racist, so. And I'm not sexist, so. But I think the worst for me would probably be known as a racist. I think that'll be the worst. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, oh, I thought I thought racist was gonna be the most. I was about to say, are you kidding me? Okay, but okay. Would you rather be known for interrupting Taylor Swift or be known for smacking Rihanna? Another unpopular opinion i don't like taylor swift hate me if you must unsubscribe if you must but i don't like taylor sorry oh see and 69 percent of the people agree with me thank you okay
would you rather be attractive but get punched in the face every morning or be ugly? Oh, my. I mean, other people say that I'm pretty and stuff, but I'm just like, eh, I guess, whatever. I guess. And then other times, I'm like, oh, I, I do look pretty today. But then other, but for the most part, I'm just like, eh, okay. Thank you for the compliment. I really don't, I really don't think that highly of myself, really, but thanks. But I don't, I wouldn't want to be attractive just to get punched in the face every morning. Like, the punches would not affect your beauty long term. I don't give a shit. I don't want to get punched in the face. Tell you're pretty, punch. I think I said I'd rather be ugly. I'm not that selfish. Like, I'd rather be ugly. Fuck that. Would you rather know for sure who killed JFK or know for sure what happened to Amelia Earhart? I'd rather know what happened to Amelia Earhart because I've always wondered what happened to that woman. Like, how did she just disappear in a thin air? I've always wanted to know what happened to Amelia. Yeah, I've, I've always wanted to know what happened to Amelia. Would you rather read the Iliad or read the Odyssey? I read both of them, actually, for school. But I don't remember exactly how each of them went. But I think the Od I think I like the Odyssey more. So I'll say the Odyssey. I think I like the Odyssey more. Would you rather be a capitalist or a communist? See, I don't remember the difference of these between these because school and I really didn't. I, I paid attention in school. Don't get me wrong, but I really don't remember half of this shit. So skip because I, I don't know. If you were in the rough part of town, would you rather arm yourself with the most powerful Nerf guns or arm yourself with the most powerful super soakers? You can't show up to the hood with super soakers or Nerf guns. Um, I mean, either way, you would piss people off. But the su I think the super so soakers might be the worst because you're getting people wet and you just no. So maybe the Nerf guns, because you might get a laugh out of them. So maybe, maybe the Nerf guns. Yeah, exactly. You can't show up to the hood with super soakers. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Would you rather have a huge head and a small neck or have a huge neck and a small head? Oh. So basically, if you're if you have the first one, you're basically like a caricature or like a a, a um like a baby brass doll. And then, on the other hand, I don't know what you would look like. I guess a huge head and a small neck. Wow, that's, that's shocking. Would you rather listen to only one song for the rest of your life or listen to no music for the rest of your life? I love music, so I guess, I guess only one song. Because I actually love music, so I would just have to choose my song wisely. As a 15-year-old, would you rather hate your parents but have to be with them 24-7? Or love your parents but have them both die of a horrible, gory accident? No, horrible, gory death right in front of you. Oh, number one, most definitely. I mean, honestly, teenage rebellion. I mean, that, that's, that's a thing. I'd rather I'd rather hate my parents but be with them 24/7 than to love them and then see them die. Like I'd rather be like I hate you and go in my room and then rather like oh I love you and then next thing you know they're just like shot in the head 20,000 times. No, I just no. Would you rather be malnourished or be obese? They're both bad. Skip. Sorry. Skip. I've never watched either of these skip another probably unpopular thing, but sorry. <clears throat> Would you rather see how or what created civilization or see how or what ends civilization? Well, I mean, I think the first one. 
I'm not going to go into full detail about why, but the first one. Damn, you guys want to see the demise of the world. Okay. Would you rather have a monster truck or a chariot with horses? I want a chariot with horses. I want to I want to ride in the back of the chariot. So I can feel like a princess or a queen. I want to do that. That would be fun. I want to do that. Okay. Would you rather die on the Hindenburg? Height Hindenburg? I guess that's how you say that. Or die on the Titanic? Ooh, what's the Hindenburg? Crash or sink? Well, sinking, you probably have a slow death and a crash. It might be on impact. So I'd probably say the Hindenburg or the Hindenburg or however you pronounce it. Oh, they probably said the Titanic because it's all romantic and stuff. But me, I'd rather get it over with. I'd rather not play. I don't know. I don't like death anyway. Stop letting me, stop making me choose. Would you rather have an incredibly nice car or own a personal helicopter? I want a Lambo. That's like one of my dream cars. I want a Lambo. I mean, it may not happen, but that's one of my dream cars. Would you rather watch a volcano erupt or witness a meteor hitting Earth? Mm. You would not be harmed. You would, however, be impressed. Um, maybe watching a meteor hit Earth. Because maybe it'll that would be probably cooler than watching a volcano erupt. Plus, the lava flows kind of slow. So, possibly witnessing a meteor hit Earth. Nobody else is getting hurt, right? That's my major concern here. Nobody else is getting hurt, right? Before you go to bed, would you rather take three shots of dip tobacco spit or take three shots of dirty bong water? Ugh. Ew. That reminds me of The Undertaker when he used to... Ugh. Ew, that's so gross. Ugh. Okay. I don't know. They're both bad. And plus, I don't do drugs anyways. Or smoke or any of that shit. Ugh. Can I skip this one? I'm skipping. Fuck it. <laughs> I know I'm skipping questions, but too bad. Would you rather sleep on a pillow with a blood stain or sleep on a very hard and uncomfortable pillow? Well, if you want to be technical about it, you just said I have to sleep on a pillow with a blood stain. You didn't have to say that I had to have it on the, on the side where my face is, so... The blood stain could be underneath. Duh. Gotta use your thinker. Gotta think. Would you rather play for the Los Angeles Lakers or play for my Miami Heat? Come on now. Of course. Come on now. Come on now. Would you rather eat moldy toast or eat moldy grapes? You wouldn't get you won't get sick from either, but both are pretty much covered in mold completely. Ugh. Grapes, you can just pop those suckers in and get it over with. Bread, you gotta just you gotta take your time with that shit. Would you rather have an uncontrolled controllable itch that attacks at sporadic times or always have chapped lips? See, I can't have no chapped lips. That's not that's not cute. But then the, the itch isn't isn't cute either. Like, what if you're on a date and then all you're doing is like, um, I my skin is itching. I I can't control this. I just I just I just I just can't. It just it just itches so much. Does anyone have like some 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 like some noxema, like some some eumoderm, anything, anything like anything that I can use right now, like something that I can like. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just say yeah. Uh, you cannot just throw on some burst bees. God damn it. <laughs> That's bullshit. 
<laughs> Why? I don't. That's not fair. Okay, fine, fine. Uncontrollable itch. Fuck that. Wait, but where is the itch though? Is it on your arms? Is it on your legs? Like, where is it? God damn it, these damn questions. Okay, I'll do a few more. Would you rather play a game of one on one with Michael Jordan or play a game of one on one with Kobe Bryant? Michael Jordan, that would be a total honor. That would be amazing. Would you rather be tarred and feathered or be whipped and chained? Ooh. My, oh my. Has this took a turn? Whipped and chained. That is that is not that's not it's it's not okay. It's not being tarred and feathered. Can I at least like Can I at least like I mean is it first of all is the tar hot? Is it is it to where it burns my skin? And with the whip and chain, I don't think so. That's that's gonna that's gonna no. I can't. I wouldn't be able to do it. Tar and feathered. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <clears throat> if you were evil, if you were an evil mastermind, would you rather have your lair be underwater, or have your have your lair be in the side of a cliff underwater? If can I breathe underwater? Like underwater, because I'll be able to see all the cool fish and all the pretty colors and shit and like nature. So yeah. Underwater would be awesome. Would you rather be forced to watch a movie you hate over and over again for a week or be forced to listen to a song you hate over and over again for a week? Oh God. Well, actually, I don't really have any movies that I don't like. But there are like movies that I just that came out that like I refuse to watch, like emoji movie. I refuse to watch that movie and I still haven't watched that movie. But the song, there's like tons of songs that I hate. But I'll probably out of that list, I'll probably watch up and I'll probably listen to some that I don't, you know. Like, do I have a break in between the song? Like, is it like every day, all day for a week? Eh, I guess listen to a song that I hate, I guess. Yeah. If you had to dress one way regu regularly, I can't. That That's one word I've always had a, um, a hard time saying, like straight. I don't know why. Would you rather be, be well dressed from the waist up with di ridiculous pants and shoes or be well dressed from the waist down with ridiculous shirts and hats. All clothing is mandatory. The ridiculous half would be clown like and the other half would be normal. I don't want to wear clown pants and shoes. Maybe a shirt and hat won't be that bad, but I guess from the waist down. As long as my shoe as long as my shoe game is on point, I don't care. <laughs> I already answered that question. Oh, oh, that's different. Well, technically I already answered because that's the same thing. Would you rather have all the phobias known to mankind or have to sl slowly skin your family and pets alive? What? have all the phobias known to mankind shit i'd rather be scared of fucking clowns and spiders and snakes and shit than have to scare i mean skin my family which granted there are some weird phobias out there which means i'll be afraid of everything but i don't want to skin my family uh, like I'm, I'm the type of person to where i would rather i would rather go through like i'd rather have the shittiest day ever and still be able to help people than to be selfish and, you know, have everybody else around me upset or in pain or whatever. And I'm the only one doing okay. Like, that's just me. If you 
if you were trapped in a cave with your pet, would you rather sacrifice your pet so you can eat or sacrifice both parts of your body so you both can eat? You'd eventually get rescued, but not before having to make this decision. Like I said, I'd rather be going through the shittiest day in the world, having a bunch of terrible shit, like losing losing a friend or you know something that's bad, than and feel terrible and help other people than me feeling the best I can and seeing everybody around me suffer. Like, uh, so sacrifice both parts. It depends, like, what part? What parts am I am I sacrificing? Oh, sacrifice parts of your body so you both need. I thought I said sacrifice both parts. I'm like, what parts? Okay. Would you rather be invincible or be invisible? In both cases, you would be mortal and die at the same age. Being invis being invincible just means that you're immune to physical harm and visibility can be turned off and turned on at will. Be invisible because I can do what I want when I want. I guess. But then I won't feel shit if I'm invincible, but hey, oh well. Wait, no, that's bad. Is it? Oh well, whatever. I already made the decision. Okay, I may do three more. This is actually pretty fun, but I think I'll do three more. After this one, just do three more. Okay. Would you rather be famous in this lifetime, lifetime or go down in the history books? Go down in the history books. Make a legacy, I guess. I already answered that question because that doesn't count. Would you rather have no thumbs or have only thumbs? Every other finger would be replaced with thumbs. Oh, geez. I'm looking at my hands right now, and that would be quite creepy. I would say have no thumbs. Okay. Would you rather have bright blue hair or bright blue teeth? You cannot die or cover up either. If you have blue hair, you may not cut it bald. Bright blue hair? I don't want no bright blue teeth. Ew. Okay, last one. Have to, would you rather have to skip Instead of walk or run at all times, sprint everywhere you'd normally walk, jog, or run to. If you get tired while sprinting, you can stop to take a break. But then you've got to sprint as fast as you can again. While skipping, you must bound as high as you can. Skipping, because skipping is fun. Skipping every, everywhere I go would be a blast. I would have so much fun. And with that being said, I'm done. And I remembered a few videos back. I was I I, I remembered I I um I forgot what it was. I think it was the try not to get mad challenge. I told you guys I had something to tell you guys, but it got um it got de uh, delayed because of the whole Guzma fan fiction thing. That was a total mess. <laughs> but what I was gonna tell you guys is that I tried. I I finally figured out why why um rocks um ships me with gladion and it's because of my hair <laughs> that's why she ships me with gladion so hard because she's like oh my god you guys hair it's almost the same except yours is in a bun and his is just like a little thing sticking up at the top i'm like stop it <laughs> no that will never happen i will not be pushed to the gladion side of things no guzma is mine and that's it no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to Gladion. That's it. I don't care what you say. Gladion and me will never happen. Never, ever. Okay. Never. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe, sucker punch that, that bell button. And as always, 